Hello folks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a TeamSpeak 3 icons primarily for your server groups. So I'm going to start out here. This is my TeamSpeak. I've got a bunch of server groups on myself, and by the way, they are all legit. <laughs> Believe me or not. So today, what we're going to do is right here in the lob TeamSpeak lobby. I'm going to click on here, and as you can see, I've got two links here. We're going to click on Hippit iconfinder.com. This here is going to take us to a site that's going to help us make icons very easily. So right here we are on the startup page. It allows us to search icon for icons and if you look in the bottom there's a whole premium membership that you can get which I find pointless. So we're going to search our guard click on that and as you can see there's some a lot of them saying buy now one dollar on the left side you're gonna wanna go to the filter menu and under price hit free uh, I honestly see no need to be getting uh, any paying for any of them free is good enough for me um, what you're gonna also wanna make sure is when you select an icon for TeamSpeak 3 the TS limit is 16 by 16 pixels so if you have any bigger than that it's not going to allow you to. In another video I will show you how to minimize the pixels. I'll show you an easy way without Photoshop to limit the pixel amount and bring it down if you ha find an icon that you really like but it's more than 16 pixels. I can show you how to make it smaller quite easy as well just a little time consuming if you don't have Photoshop so right here is a icon I like so I'm gonna see here it says PNG and then more you're gonna wanna click on more and you can see 32 by 32 pixels 16 by 16 pixels once again we can only get 16 by 16 pixels otherwise we'd have to make it uh, spend some time in the paint to minimize that the pixel ma amount so we're just gonna click on 16 by 16 you're gonna wanna save the file click OK go up to your downloads click it once and you'll see this right here I do what I'd recommend doing is going to file and make a copy that way you can rename it something that you'll be able to remember I'm gonna go into my TeamSpeak 3 icons folder now I'm going to name it, hit save, there we go. Now you're going to want to go into TeamSpeak 3, hit permissions and go to server groups. And by the way, you can only, you must have some sort of TeamSpeak admin in order to do this process. You're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom, as you can see right here I already have that server group so I'm gonna make a new one and make sure you create the group this server group using the template guest or normal because if you do it server admin it's the template is gonna be of a server admin and if unless you want it to be something of that nature if you do it then you'd have to spend some time manually changing it around so we're going to switch this to temporary. Now on the top right, you're going to see in small letters icon and then to the right a blank square with a little uh, down arrow. You're not going to want to click the download like I just did. You're going to want to click the uh, square itself. Now right here, I'm going to hit, you can see all of the icons that you have already on the TeamSpeak. I'm going to hit the upload button, go down to desktop, my TS server icons go here and voila it's uploaded down here you can see is right here you're gonna wanna double click it and now it's on the TeamSpeak server group so right here I'm gonna try applying the server group to myself and you go down here click server it group assigned. and voila we're good to go I am now going to take it off myself. Server group revoked. And I hope this helps you 
edit your team speak and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day or night wherever you are.